Hi, my name is Peter Daly. I'm a PhD student at Karlstadt University. And today I would like to tell you how we use OpenFlow to optimize wireless mesh networks. A wireless mesh network consists of mesh routers which use Wi-Fi technology to communicate with each other. Some of the mesh routers are connected to the internet using some wire technology such as DSL or Ethernet. Wireless mesh networks have become an established alternative to provide Wi-Fi coverage for large areas. When a user arrives in such an area, it will connect to the access point with the highest signal strength. Sometimes, however, users have the chance to choose from several access points if they are in reach of them. As by default users, however, choose the one with the highest signal strength, that can lead to the situation that many users connect to one access point and thereby create an overload there, even if there are resources available in other parts of the network. We have developed an algorithm which intelligently chooses the associations in the network so that uh, users use the access point which gives them best performance from a global perspective. To do so, the optimization algorithm tells the NUX, the OpenFlow control server, how to configure the network. The NUX uses the OpenFlow protocol to tell the OpenFlow enabled routers which routes to use and which flow rates to allow. Furthermore, it creates 8221 handover messages to trigger handover at the clients. Next, I would like to show you how the system looks like and how it can be used. On the screen, you can see the user interface to our optimization system. On the left side of the screen, you can see a map of the mesh network which is deployed in downtown Berlin. The green icons symbolize mesh routers. Icons with the folder symbol are mesh gateways. Others are just normal mesh routers and the gray boxes tell you how many clients are currently associated. Furthermore, the links are annotated with their ETX values. When you click on an icon, you can see which stations are connected to an access point. In our example, we have one station connected. On the right side, two ping sessions are started to the clients which are currently using the network. When you click on the flow box, you can see how traffic is routed through the network. For example, here the traffic is routed from 54 to 52 and finally to 56, uh, 62. For the other node, it's just sent wire node 62. Using the routes and association tab, we can tell the network which station should use which gateway and which, which access point. For example, currently station 28200 is associated to 54. We can do a handover by clicking on handover and install rules. We would like the station to use access point 62 and also gateway 62. We have sent a handover and note that the ping on the right side is still running as nothing has happened because the handover works really fast. Also on the map you can see that now two stations are using access point 62. We can see that the traffic now is routed just to node 62. In the next step I would like to show you how the optimization algorithm can help you to increase the network performance. To do so, I start a streaming video on one of the clients which you can see on the right side of the screen. Furthermore, I start background traffic on the other node using iperf. As you can see on the right side, Due to the background traffic, the video is not running smooth, it even comes to complete halt. 
This is because most nodes use the same gateway, which is the bottleneck in our case. When running the optimizer, the optimizer knows we have to do a handover, which just happened, and need to reconfigure the gateways. As you can see, the video is running smoothly now, and the space shuttle can launch without any interruption. Furthermore, you can see that now different gateways are used inside the mesh network. I hope this demo gave you an insight how to use OpenFlow to optimize wireless mesh networks. To learn more about our mesh network research, please visit our website www.cow.se slash cowmesh.